How can life get better than this? Good morning. What's going on, guys? Hope you all are doing okay. Well, today I got a nice triple tail, or what we call Sipagi here in Guyana. I got this from my boy Danny. Right, y'all see the other day in one of my other videos, I went and I buy gilbaco and snapper catfish. My boy Danny gave me this lovely triple tail or paggy, we call it here, right? You tell me you want to see me bake it. So today you're going to see I bake in this paggy, my man, all right? I'm going to season it with some puree. I got some um, onion, garlic, fine thyme pepper. Blend up here. We're gonna season this bad boy. I got the stove heating up. We're gonna be baking it. So, Danny, you wanna see me bake the fish? I'm gonna bake it and give you a review, alright? And I wanna say thank you for the fish. So, hope you guys are being positive, you're staying safe. Let's begin the adventure. Today is baked fish. And look what we got over here, buddy. We got some broccoli. And some sweet potato. We're going healthy, right? You gotta take care of you. No El Dorado or no wine. Miss Lynch, you can ask El Dorado today or what? No? Water. Water? The H2O? Mm -hmm. Alright, so <clears throat> we're about to get started. Stay with me and let me have some fun. Alright? If you're watching this video in the morning and you feel tempted, please go and bake a fish. Alright? Or bake a chicken or bake something. Good? If it's night time and you're about to go to bed, I hope I don't torment you and got you drooling. Alright? Make sure you get a little touch of lemon. Or in this case, we got lime, right? You wanna put a little bit on the fish. You give it that lemonish taste, like, man. And you gotta be careful with the seed from the lime, alright? Got about half a teaspoon of salt. You want to sprinkle? Not even all, right? Gotta make sure this is a really big fish, you know. Thick, a lot of meat with a lot of bones, though, right? Wanna make sure you're rubbing out your salt and your seasoning. Put it into this fish. And we put, you know, we put some cuts on the fish. So you wanna make sure that seasoning go in there. The flavor of the meat. All right. You gotta add the fresh herbs to your fish to get a good taste. This is a lot of potion. I got everything out of here now. See that? Clean out. Please note, we don't have butter and we don't have olive oil. We are out of stock. Can we just eat fresh, you know? So we just buy the butter fresh and the olive oil fresh. So we're gonna use regular oil to just grease the pan a little, right? And even but on the fish. You just want to add a little bit of oil to so you don't boil, you don't stick to the pan, right? So we don't have olive oil. You need to add some olive oil on the fish and in the pan, but you know, we don't have. And I ain't able to go to the supermarket to get it now. Next, we'll cover it. All right. In the oven it goes. Ta-da! Alright, so we're gonna let that cook. In 30 minutes, we're gonna check it back and see how it looks. Alright, I'm estimating it should take about one hour to finish because it's a very thick fish. Alright, so in 30 minutes, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Alright, first time I'm baking this fish, so 
I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna keep checking. Let the goodness continue. 30 minutes later. And let's show you how this bad boy look like. I know this fish rail ticking on take long, you know, but I still, ah, you smell good, man. All right. Now, 30 minutes later, this way it looks like. It just started to cook. So I believe this fish is gonna take about an hour and a half to finish, trust me. So we can come back another 30 minutes from now, all right? So in the meantime, we're going to light up a fry mahika planting, boy. Let's come to mahika creek. Right. So the goodness continue. We got some broccoli and um, sweet potato. We're going to steam though. So we're getting steamed fish or baked fish with steamed vegetable. So exactly one hour later, I go ahead and check me fish boy so this is one hour later ah heat Ooh. checking back on the fish well this fish ain't cooked no way yet all right so i'm guessing this fish is gonna take about two hours ah hot so i'm gonna put that back right in and let it cook for another half an hour then i'm gonna check it back one and a half hours total baking Let's see what's the end result. But it's time to take out this top. Alright, this is what the fish looks like. The sench. Mm -hmm. still be walking at all. Yeah. You sure you're walking? Mm-hmm. Ah, I ain't see the fat on the fish or the fish don't have fat. Oh, I ain't mean. seeing it. Got, it got, if you look in between, it's kind of fatty. So fat, you yeah. just need to bake outside now. So just put it back in for half an hour. hour. So another half an hour we got the mighty big fish, alright? The sench don't want to be in the camera because she hear and finish. Yeah, no, I don't want to without my hair. I doubt you, darling. Why are you making the... Potato. Potato, potato pie? Sweet potato. Bacon. Big sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So, you got things cooking over here now. Ritz. Ritz? Yeah. Alright. So, the goodness continue. We broccoli ready. We got some tomatoes. We got some grits. And two hours later, uh-huh, this one I'm talking about. It, it doesn't look so to me, what we to find out though? But I high it top. I think I'm going to it up and put it to the top. <laughs> now, what do you think? I just know what we I got the thickest part of the fish, right? Yeah, yeah man. The white and nice. You want this? Uh -oh. Cheers. Mouth mm. of steel, man. Mm. How it is? Good. The green seasoning is overwhelming. We use too much. That's okay. Alright? We'll go good with the other stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. We can blend it with the other stuff. Yeah. Let me taste from a different part of the fish. It's fine, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is perfect, it's master. But remember the, the green season that I pour on top of the fish and leave it? The last set. Yes, that's what make it overwhelming actually, the, the fine time. But this fish is sweet. Okay. Really, it tastes something like snapper. Mm -hmm. A smooth texture. So these bad boys here, I just gotta use it to moisturize the fish, right? You're not gonna throw a little demoisturizing cream on your face. So get it set off. It's a big fish in the valley. Be careful now, pretty pretty good.
keyboard. So we need one of these. Look at the whiteness of this fish. You can tell how it's fresh. The bite down, you caught it the same day. But I bought it the banco. Fresh out of the Atlantic, boy. Mahan. Life can't get better than this. Cheers. So how it is with everything. The broccoli actually reduces the um seasoning. The, the, oh yeah, the overwhelming taste of the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Now it's perfect. This is a lovely fish. Very meaty. Mm. Little hot. First time you ever hear you say that. <laughs> a little hot. <laughs> I'd be careful for the little bones, right? There are some bones in this fish. Cheers. So, hope you enjoy the cooking with me. Sorry if I make you drool, but hey, that's life. Run down to the supermarket or the market where you live, get a fish, bake it. It will good. The fish, I cooked it, I baked it for two hours, simply because the fish is very thick. Now, if it was a smaller fish, maybe an hour and a half. But I also put it at 350 degrees, not too high heat, like standard heat. So it's slow cook. That's why it's not so hot when I took it up to start eating. All right? So I hope you try the fish out. Hope you like what I do. Thank you for your time on this channel. Take care of you and those around you. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you on another big fish.